Welcome back, automotive enthusiasts. Today, we're exploring the world of ride height sensors, also called suspension height sensors, small but mighty components that keep your vehicle stable and comfortable. This is our 21st video in the series of automotive sensors, see the link for the entire playlist. Let's dive in. First things first, what exactly is a ride height sensor? A ride height sensor measures the distance between the vehicle's body and the road surface. It sends this data to the ECU, which adjusts the suspension to maintain a balanced ride. Now that we know what ride height sensors are, let's delve deeper into how they actually work. Understanding their operation is crucial for maintaining a well-functioning vehicle. Ride height sensors are designed to monitor the distance between the vehicle's body and the ground. This measurement is vital for vehicles with adjustable suspension systems, especially those equipped with air or adaptive suspensions. There are generally two types of ride height sensors, potentiometer-based and digital sensors. Potentiometer sensors provide variable resistance based on the height, while digital sensors use more advanced technology to give precise measurements. Once the ride height sensor detects the vehicle's height, it transmits this data to the engine control unit, ECU. The ECU is essentially the brain of the vehicle, processing information from various sensors to make real-time adjustments. Based on the information received, the ECU can adjust the suspension system accordingly. For example, if the sensor detects that the vehicle is loaded on one side, the ECU can lower or raise that side to ensure a level ride. In advanced systems, ride height sensors allow for real-time adjustments. This means that as you drive over bumps, potholes, or uneven terrain, the sensors continuously monitor the height and inform the ECU to adjust the suspension on the fly. This feature enhances ride comfort, stability, and overall safety by maintaining a consistent vehicle height, regardless of changes in load or terrain. It helps prevent bottoming out, which can damage the vehicle, and improves handling by keeping the center of gravity stable. If you suspect a problem, how do you diagnose it? You can use a diagnostic tool to check for error codes or conduct a visual inspection of the sensor and its connections. Can you replace a ride height sensor yourself? Absolutely. 1. Locate the sensor near the suspension. 2. Disconnect the wiring and unbolt the old sensor. 3. Install the new sensor and reconnect the wiring. 4. After replacing the sensor, Calibration is key. You'll need a diagnostic tool to calibrate the new sensor so the ECU recognizes it. This ensures proper function. Ride height sensors are common in luxury vehicles and those equipped with air suspension systems, such as many models from brands like Mercedes-Benz and Ford. They ensure that the air suspension system operates correctly, adjusting to load changes and maintaining ride height. Lastly, what happens if a ride height sensor fails? A failed sensor can lead to an uneven ride, reduced handling, and safety risks. It's crucial to address any issues promptly. Thanks for joining us today to learn about ride height sensors. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more automotive insights. Feel free to ask questions or comments about your experiences with ride height sensors. Our next video in this series will be on vehicle speed sensors.